Hello students and today's topic will be free body diagram. Now uh, this free body diagram involves many of the things which I shall be describing one after the other. Please be careful of the points which I am mentioning serially. First of all, this free body diagram is very necessary because no body in this earth is actually free from forces. It is not possible that either this body is fully free or no force is acting along any of the bodies mentioned or there is a, a blank, a, a fully uh, detached environment totally created. This type of things does happen or may happen if we create an artificially vacuumated environment. Else, let me state you one by one serially that why is this free body diagram necessary? Free body diagram is actually very important to check the combination of forces acting in a particular situation. Now, you can see that I have kept a book over here. It is uh, one of the story books which uh, I am just going on if I have time. This table over here is a smooth horizontal table as you can see. It is uh, one with uh, just very less amount of friction just to keep this body straight. Now, let us study this one by one. Since we are on the earth surface, though this statement is repeated by me many times, I am going to continue with this repetition until you are acquainted with this fully that every time you get up, there is of course gravity inside or gravity below which you can't see. Until and unless that habit comes in you, we physics teachers have a necessary to repeat this statement. Gravity. That means if I particularly show you, this is acting downwards. That means the force due to gravity is continuously trying to pull the table, the book, everything downwards. But still, the book is kept in the place. Why? Number one point, of course, no force is applied due to inertia and everything. But even after due to inertia, gravity is not a very negligible force because if I throw this down or leave this, it is going down. So that means the surface over here is providing a normal reaction force. Now this force, I have reversed this pen. You can see that this force is acting upwards. So if I just replace this pen over here with this one, this is the direction of gravity downwards and this is the direction of the normal reaction force provided by the horizontal table which is upwards. But pertaining to this book which is at rest that means the U is zero and no force is acting on it. It is not that no force is acting on it. The true situation is the forces or the number of forces acting over here are balanced by each other. If I consider the going down one, uh, that means the force due to acceleration due to gravity, which is acting downwards by convention to be negative, 
and the normal reaction force which is acting upwards by convention to be positive the plus and the minus over here they are getting together cancelled which results in the book being at the same place or at rest without any acceleration caused or without any particular direction movement if we are to represent it in our copies you can see over here for the time being don't look at this just concentrate on this this is just the representation of the mentioned situation that is the book on the table here you can understand that this body is marked as the book and this one is this line is representing the horizontal table on this book gravity is acting downwards the normal reaction is acting upwards which results in the cancellation of both of the two which in turn concludes that the body is in rest or the body is not going to show any movement so in this case since this is a very basic case you have studied it previously also in the chapters of force friction and everything a very basic case where these two forces are getting cancelled coming to a type of force in which this body is in uniformly accelerated motion in this case what is happening of course gravity and normal force is acting every time but if i consider this then what are the forces acting number 1 other than this which is in this diagram there is a force which is making it move this side because acceleration is produced as mentioned that it is a uniformly accelerated motion in reverse of it is there any other force which is occurring if i mark it over here as the direction of the motion of the body is it is not counteracted by any other force of course it is which force none other than the most unused and unlikely force on earth surface which is friction but here you can see i have drawn this arrow quite bigger and this arrow quite smaller because although there is friction although this is a very smooth horizontal surface there is a mild friction over here but in spite of it acting in the reverse direction its magnitude is not the same so though it is just moving on this side it is not getting cancelled up and the body shows the same directional movement even if there is friction acting on it now the total number of forces acting on this movable toy car is 1 2 3 4 till now there is a question that since we are staying in earth's atmosphere won't we consider the air resistance because if i don't uh, use the car and i start cycling i do feel air on my face and my body even if those persons who are riding a bike i would like to say that until and unless air resistance is mentioned in the question you don't need to apply or show it for the time being since air resistance is 
much negligible compared to any body of uh, or any vehicle of this heavy mass it is actually negligible you may feel the wind or breeze on your face but it is not stopping your whole body or the motion of the whole car or truck so air resistance is negligible now coming to a particular special type where we are going to talk about not the smooth horizontal surface but that of the inclined surfaces or better to say inclined plane this type of uh, plane uh, can be taken as an example when a car is traveling uphill or downhill number 2 when we are talking about examples like uh, trolley bags or uh, the baggages in the airport or in the um, uh, train which are carried by the persons who are coolies they uh, have a tendency to certainly drag it once at an angle and after that keeping it on the smooth surface so this inclined plane does find it usage many a times in fact uh, there are many questions in the chapter vector itself which are from various competitive exams that uh, uh, what are the direction of the forces if it is acting over here and over there and over this this free body diagram clears all your doubts so in this case i will just be talking about this now let me take an example of this box kept over here now as you can see this box in spite of being on this inclined plane at this moment it is at rest number 2 even if i am just giving it a uh, certain forces this side or this side uh, lighter forces of course it is becoming straight only now let's check what are the forces acting on a body in this condition now we will talk about the diagram on this side i have represented what i have shown you as a diagram this is the inclined plane with a particular angle i have not named that angle or marked it properly by stating any numerical value but this is an example now let's check what are the forces acting on this number 1 i suppose this is much visible round gravity as usual wherever be a body placed gravity will be acting exactly downwards vertically so even if it is inclined plane over here body is just it at its place but the gravity is acting downwards vertically please check the green lines of the pen number 2 whenever a body is placed on any type of surface always it has a force which is the normal force or it is just perpendicular to the surface and acting upwards so in the case of this it was horizontally upwards sorry vertically upwards in this case what is happening the surface is already at an angle itself inclined so perpendicular to this surface only the normal force is acting upwards because we know normal is perpendicular and gravity is vertically downwards so this though they were cancelling each other and they were looking oh vertically downward vertically upward same thing here you can particularly or perfectly differentiate between these two forces that is the normal force here it is for the horizontal here it is for the inclined 
now what do we do if we need to calculate first thing since this is the surface we are going to follow a coordinate system which is in uh, hands with this or connected with this so ignoring the particular graph system which is vertical and horizontal i have just taken the coordinates to be in this direction that is that of the normal and that of the surface direction now if this whole coordinate system is inclined at an angle there will be one important work to do that is bringing the for acceleration due to gravity or the force of acceleration due to gravity in hands with the coordinate system how to do it if you remember when we were talking about vectors we were talking about resolving of the forces so you can see over here the arrows which i have drawn in blue which are much thinner one than that of the other ones that is the gravitation and the normal force i have just resolved the force of acceleration due to gravity so if i am resolving it uh, since resolving etc is already done previously you can easily understand that the horizontal one will symbolize something else from the vector and the vertical one will symbolize something so in this case you can check that this one will be the mg cos of this angle and this one will be mg the cos uh, sorry the sin of this angle so if i i have not marked it that is creating a problem if i am marking this angle to be alpha then this will be mg cos alpha and this will be mg sin alpha providing that this angle between them is also alpha you can prove it to through the similarity of the triangles and its respective theorems so in this case let's count again how many forces are originally acting but after resolving you can see over here this component is the original force is eliminated and it is segregated into these two components of cos and sin so this is the not just uh, the thick green arrow over here i have not yet come to this point except this thick green arrow downwards all of these represent the diagram which i just showed to you that is the state of inclined plane where the body is at rest now if i talk about the body which is not at rest and sliding downwards then in that case of course there is an act movement occurring in the downward direction so in this case what can happen there will be as mentioned uh, in the previous case a uh, motion this side and the friction will be acting on the other side but due to the less amount of friction over here since it is a smooth horizontal surface the body shows is motion this side that means the force this side is much greater so over here when we talk about the total system the normal reaction force is equivalent to mg cos alpha 
and both of them are eliminated friction and the mg sin theta that is eliminated only this directional force is remaining which shows that the body is accelerating downwards so conclusion none of the bodies are alone they are always acted upon by number of forces like uh, till date you students are not alone with only the subject of physics or maths or english you have side by side chemistry biology computer bengali hindi physical education so a student can't be pressurized considering only one subject that homeworks can be given daily to complete or assignments can be given daily to complete we have to keep that in mind that a child studies eight subjects so similarly the body also is faced by various forces now just a go through from your textbook page number 229 over here there are certain diagrams given first force is applied horizontally there will be a movement force in pushing force in pulling two different types of forces again it is said force inclined at some angle in pulling a very good example is that the trolley bags when we start them pulling at an angle like this the wheels go down and they up eventually get straightened up so in this case what type of resolution is happening the vector f is resolved as cos theta and sin theta now coming to the inclined plane part no external force is applied on the block that means the block is at rest which i showed you in the diagram afterwards it is said in the point number 2 force f is applied upwards upwards when we move uphill dragging the baggage or dragging ourselves anything else force is applied downwards now uh, as uh, uh, the formula is given over here you uh, uh, where where it is a background is slightly of a light pink or lavender color if you want you can remember but um, i never prefer to mug up as i say you all the time i used to resolve them every time and used to find out what a is equal to the final value so that after the full equation is got i can put the final values which are mentioned in the numerical step by step and then calculate it of course uh, the calculator is permitted for you so if there is anyone who is not thorough with the usage of calculator kindly go through the manual which i made and sent in the, as a pdf format and uh, if i get a chance of course i will upload a video regarding the scientific calculator but i am not getting it right now so uh, please go through that and step by step start calculating be in the habit of using the calculators because uh, mobiles won't be allowed in the exam hall only calculators will be so this were the different types of diagrams now uh, there are free body diagram of many more types which are given over here number 1 when two bodies are in contact when the bodies are connected by strings when this string uh, attached bodies are involved with a pulley and number 4 the last one which is on page number 232 two bodies connected by a string one body placed on a smooth table and the other body is hanging down so in this type of cases unless for the first uh, portion i am leaving it because it is when just they are keeping in contact with each other that means a situation of these type is happening i have taken two quite similar boxes over here and in that case you can see one is smaller one is bigger so if i give it a very light force you can see one body is jerking the other body is being forced by this if i give it a quite larger force like this you can see that both the bodies are moving 
so what all the acceleration and the forces they are drawn they are clearly written in your book i am uh, not repeating this because uh, it is just the two differences of mass 1 and mass 2 so the finally the acceleration will be same it is just the same as of the first uh, diagram or the second one which i explained now comes the part which i am going to tell these two bodies at a distance are just tied up with a string now in this case the bodies are at a distance but other than this there is a tension working on the thread so this tension for the first one it acts in the direction of the force for the second one it does opposite please check the diagram figure number 15 on page number 231 in this case once the tension is involved and calculated in the other time it is just added up or cancelled up and then being calculated so here is the final value of t which is m2f by m1 plus m2 short questions can come based on this so you have to remember the formula there is no other option if a numerical of 2 marks or more than that is given then you can uh, solve it uh, solve the situation whatever is mentioned and then you can just segregate them out pulley this pulley case you have studied uh, during icsc it was very important tension acting upward and gravity acting downward for each and every set of the body so this is also drawn over here in the direction of the acceleration the mg is getting added up and in the direction of the tension only it is getting subtracted and hence the value of t comes to be 2m1 m2 by t1 m1 plus m2 into g so this much uh, this derivation directly no one will ask you but do understand by writing it in the equation format and then understanding and uh, first better you try to solve then you recheck along with the book this will be easier for you to just uh, check and then to remember it two bodies connected by a uh, string and one is placed on a smooth table i am on page 232 the last point over here uh, the tension is actually eliminated by various components and that is the reason this from 2 m1 m2 we have just omitted the 2 it is m1 into m2 into g by m1 plus m2 so till this much i would like you to go through from the book and to hopefully you have understood whatever is being explained so please read the book once and uh, try to check the book's examples also the numericals because this is a numerical based chapter and numericals are only going to come based on this so till then please stay home stay safe be healthy and start studying bye bye